Here are five Kiva math activities you can do this summer with your child. Kiva count, wood piles, Kiva bandit, estimation station, and perimeter pursuit. Have your child count out a certain number of planks, maybe up to 30, and put them into a pile. Then you can tell them to build a structure with their planks. You can have an open theme for building or require a certain type of structure. For example, a tower, a house, an animal, or a vehicle. Once they've built their structure, you can count down to destruction time from 10. And make sure they count with every number. And then you can have them count aloud as they return their pieces into the box. The next activity is called wood piles and you will have your child grab a handful of planks and count them out and writing that down on a piece of paper have them grab another handful and count that number out. They can create an addition symbol out of planks in the middle of those stacks and then to the right of the stacks you create an equal sign out of planks they can then take those piles and move it to the other side of the equal sign counting them out and putting that number on the answer sheet using the same number of planks they can then make two different size piles this teaches them that the answer is still 15 because they're adding the same number of planks together this next activity is called Kiva Bandit, or you can call it the Kiva Tax Man or the Kiva Gobbling Monster. You will have your child grab a large handful of planks and then count those out. Make sure they know how many there are. And you can put that, they can put that answer down on a piece of paper. You would then collect a certain number of planks from their pile and make sure you show them how many you will be collecting and have them write down this amount on their piece of paper after a minus sign have them write that number in the answer place on their piece of paper this next activity is called estimation station and this will involve some interaction with you or another child have one person count out a certain number of planks it can be any number i counted out 30 here and you would write that down on a piece of paper and then you would build a tower or a structure with those planks. Your child would then look at that tower and try to estimate how many planks were used. They would write that down or tell you, and then you would take the actual number of planks used and subtract that from their estimation to determine the, the difference between the estimation and the actual number. You can repeat this activity more than once, which would help create a more informed estimation as they go along. This last activity is called Perimeter Pursuit, and this explores the concept of perimeter being the distance around the object. So they'll be measuring the perimeter of their squares and rectangles using Kiva as the unit of measurement. And then you can introduce the formula that perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side, or two times length plus width they can discover that the perimeter can be the same with a different shape. For more Kiva activities, go to kivaplanks.com. You can also like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another video.